one small welcome this is the covenant of favor day this is day 31 hallelujah day 31 31 days of grace and favor nothing would have stopped me from showing up nothing would have stopped you from showing up in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah this is the 31 days of grace and favor 31 days of grace and favor day 31 the covenant of favor somebody type it in the comment section let's get the beat going covenant of favor hallelujah somebody needs to know this morning that favor divine favor has been poured out from heaven divine favor has been poured up and as it, it has been poured out this means that there is a suspension of protocol you have come to the protocol breaking prayer altar that means all protocols shall be suspended we are ending on a high note today in the mighty name of jesus Christ. favor is the suspension of all protocols all protocols have been suspended for you this morning this is where we kick off the covenant of favor the lord wants us to remember the covenant of favor this is the day that we praise god this is the day that we rejoice this is the day that we celebrate this is the day that we testify amen so many testimonies have come through from day one till day 30 day 31 we are sealing it off as we are entering the new month as well we are sealing off this old month with blessings with the favor of god divine favor divine divine favor tell your neighbor divine favor locate me i don't know whether you want to tell your neighbor you want to tell the, the favor itself to locate me in case you, you were caught napping between day one and day 30 today day 31 divine favor must not miss you divine favor must locate you in the name of jesus christ all favor that is going to locate you today it will suspend all protocols in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah all protocols are going to be suspended Amen. Hallelujah. As I have said, favor is the suspension of protocols. Hallelujah. Every child of God is ordained in the realms of favor. Hallelujah. He is what ordained to walk in the realms of favor and grace. This is the dimension that we should be operating in. This is the dimension that we should be um, operating in. Hallelujah. We are ordained to operate in the realms of favor and grace. Hallelujah. A day of favor is far better than a hundred days of labor. I know there are people who are addicted to working hard there are people who are saying i just want hard labor no we don't want hard labor we want some bit of soft life amen somebody we want soft life all as well hallelujah so a day of favor i will take a day of favor any single day hallelujah i will take a day of favor than any hard labor in a hundred years i don't want to work until i'm too old i want to enjoy yes i will work i will be diligent and i will be disciplined but i want a bit of favor hallelujah Favor, come through for me. Favor, divine favor, locate me. Do not pass me by. Hallelujah. When one begins to enjoy favor and grace in their life, what others struggle for, you do not struggle for. You begin to enjoy those things without stress. Even when you are working, there should be something that you attain, Anna. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Things that people struggle for, you they, you shouldn't be struggling for. You shouldn't be stressing to to get those things in Jesus mighty name. It has been confirmed that the favor of God is very important for you to achieve greatness. Hallelujah. If you are going to exhibit your greatness DNA, the favor of God is what you need. The favor of God is what you need to begin to enjoy things without stress in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to begin to enjoy the greatness of life without stress, to enjoy your destiny without stress. Favor is the pathway to greatness. Talk to me, somebody. Are we communicating as you are coming in? Make sure you are typing in the comment section. The covenant of favor covenant of favor or you can call on divine favor to locate you just say favor locate me favor locate me divine favor locate me hallelujah because today the lord is reminding you of the covenant of favor he has made with you and he is activating that favor as we close this 31 days of grace and favor he's told me that you are not going to be left behind favor must not pass you by funky in the mighty name of jesus christ now it is clear from the scriptures that one of the ways to break forth is in favor Hallelujah. If you are going to break forth in favor, it is going to be through the fasting and prayer that we have been doing throughout this month. Hallelujah. Today is our last day of fasting. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. And today it is one of the things that we have taken, the step that we have taken to make sure that we are breaking forth. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. When you go through the Bible and you check with me on the Bible, Queen Esther 
needed to approach King Ahasuerus in, on behalf of Mordecai and the Jewish people because the death sentence placed on them by Haman's co conspiracy. In those days, it was not customary that you could just go and see the king without an invitation. But Esther, hallelujah, if you, if you try to see the king without an invitation, it was tantamount to you having committed suicide. It was equal to death, except he stretched out his scepter. You would not approach him. But Queen Esther fasted, hallelujah. Queen Esther prayed. I see a lot of you who did decided that we are fasting in the month of May, who decided that we are going to pray and we are going to petition heaven. We are going to pe petition God. You say, divine favor, locate me. Divine favor, locate me. You decided, you made a decision that we are going before the king. You decided that we are going before the throne. You decided that his grace is sufficient. You decided that I want a bit of unmerited favor. You decided that I want an unmet, a, a bit of that unmerited favor that overflows. I want divine favor to locate me as you decided and made that decision and you showed up God has said to me that I must tell you that the covenant will speak for you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will obtain favor in the sight of the king you will obtain favor in the sight of heaven you will obtain favor in the sight of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ what fasting and prayer has done for you is not something that is seasonal or kariyama but this is going to be your habitual operation in the name of Jesus. This is going to be your way of life. What is favor, Pastor Fortune? If you ask me, favor, the Lord says, I must tell you, it is that unlimited unrestricted, unhindered access without limitations, resistance or hindrance. That means that you are operating without hindrance. The Lord says he's confirming it on this day 31. You have unlimited favor. You have unrestricted favor. You have unhindered access. You have without limitations access. You have a resistance free in the name of Jesus Christ. No hindrance are barring you. You are outside. You are outside of the cage in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, nobody can hold you back. I wish you could type that screen even louder. I wish you could type that amen louder. Somebody shout divine favor, locate me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is that favor that is locating me, Pastor Fortune? Number two, favor is the suspension of all protocols. Somebody shout also, all protocols suspended. All protocols suspended. Favor will bypass natural laws for a person to achieve the desired results and kariyama sondo diyama sanda in intentions. Whatever your intentions are, whatever is the desire of your heart, whatever is rooted inside of you, Kalaba Sunda favor is going to make sure that it bypasses the natural laws that you would have had to follow, that you would have had to take the steps and the protocols that you would have followed. Kalaba, all protocols suspended in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Favor, 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 favor. I see favor locating you in the name of Jesus Christ. When you are suspending all protocols, it means that you do not have to pass through what others have passed through. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, I don't have to pass through what you pass through. I don't have to suffer what you pass through. I don't have to go through poverty if you went through poverty. I don't have to do it if it is in my ancestral bloodline. I don't have to go through the same thing because protocols are being suspended. I don't have to go through the same case, but I can go through and fly on the wings of favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Favor, favor, favor. Number three, favor is that unlimited opportunity that God is releasing for you this morning. Favor is that unlimited privilege that is God releasing for you when he releases unlimited privileges he can only get it to a principal people that means you are a principal person you are you you are activated on high talk to me somebody this is an open check that the Lord is giving you this morning who is here this morning if you are here this morning make sure you are typing in that comment section uh, all protocols suspended all protocols suspended hallelujah you have received an open check Alison, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Koryama Sonda, an open check is being given to those that matter this morning. Who is ready to receive? Say, I receive in the comment section. I receive having answers to questions that are yet to be asked by the agency of favor. There's an agent called favor and he says you will receive your answers. You will not go back the same in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is favor, Pastor Fortune? Five favor that is being released this morning is that climate of acceptability. The Lord says you will be attractive. That acceptability and attractiveness that will draw men and women to you. That will say you are accepted. Your papers are accepted. Talk to me somebody. Somebody type in that comment section. The God of all favor. Hallelujah. The 
the God of all favor. Hallelujah. Favor makes you acceptable and attractive to both those who know you and who don't know you. I don't know who needs to favor you. I don't know who's holding your possessions. I don't know who is holding your documentation for approval. But I say in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all protocols are suspended. You are receiving answers this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is making you acceptable in the beloved. The Lord is saying you are attractive in him. So he is saying no only will you have favor with God, but you will have favor with men. Oh, Jesus. I wish you could type that. Amen. Lord. If you are not going to share, at least type those likes on that screen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. I decree and declare that favor is resting on you. Favor is resting on you. Favor is being released on you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From all angles, those who know you, those who don't know you, in the kingdom of God, every success story contains favor. If you are going to be a success child of God, you need to understand that your story needs to contain favor. Somebody shout favor. Make sure you are shouting in that comment section shout favor hallelujah in the kingdom of god every success story contains favor favor is the flavor of life i, I we communicated i said favor is the flavor of your of your life make sure you are tapping on that screen make sure you are following that instruction in the name of jesus christ make sure you are depopulating hell and you are populating heaven where are you talk to me somebody you cannot tire we have reached day 31 you did not expire you shall not expire you will not expire you will win you are coming out victorious you are possessing your possessions talk to me somebody is there somebody who's ready to receive the flavor of god you are the salt of the earth that means everything concerning you is spiced up baby it means that you are salted up hallelujah it means that you are flavorful if you have favor you are have faith flavor in the mighty name of jesus christ favor does not go where it is needed but to where it is respected you see, those of you who are typing what I'm saying, those of you who are following instructions on Facebook, YouTube, and on TikTok, as I say it, hallelujah, you are confessing with me. As I say it, you are declaring with me. As you are typing it, as you are saying it with your mouth verbally and on, on, on the comment section, you are typing it. You are tapping on that screen. I believe that that is a way that you are showing the Lord that, Lord, I respect you. Lord, I respect the covenant of favor. Lord, I respect the anointing of favor that is being poured out this morning. May divine favor flavor you all around, Anna. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Petty, you are flavorful. Divine favor does not go where it is needed. This is not a cry of help. This is not a prayer request. It goes where it is respected. You show it respect. You say, God, if it is not you, Nobody can do this thing. If it is not you, nobody could have. Do you understand that you made it to the 31 day of May 2023? Others have died. Others we have buried already. Do you understand that you are still breathing? If you will dare respect. Somebody type in that comment section. Respect it. Hallelujah. Favor does not go where it is needed. It goes where it is respected. Number two. Favor does not go where it is needed it goes where it is respected number three let me say it again favor does not go where it is needed it goes where it is respected oh jesus you will experience favor in the name of jesus christ you will experience the grace of god overcomer you will experience the favor of god in the name of jesus christ favor when it comes into your life it covers your errors when favor comes into your life, it doesn't matter the errors you have committed. When favor comes into your life, it colors your efforts. Even though you didn't give it 110% or 100%, but your 50% begins to look like 100%. Somebody shout favor. Favor, 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 favor. We are moving in unmerited favor dimensions. Grace has actually been induced in us. If anybody tells me that they do not understand the grace of God after 30 days, after we have reached day 31, is a lie. Kalaba so he brings you flavor what salt when you put salt inside food hallelujah it is what favor does to your life it brings flavor it brings that 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 sense of spice hallelujah you will experience unmerited divine favor in the name of jesus christ without favor your life is tasteless I believe I do. I'm not talking to saints that are tasteless if you are new to this broadcast I decree and I declare that your life will not be tasteless you will receive the favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot get anything you have not been given or you have not given rather. So if you are going to inherit favor, you need to also favor others. 
This is the principle and the laws of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The kind of seed that you will sow will determine the kind of harvest that you will get. It's like when you sow kindness, you reap what? Kindness. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Tag somebody and tell them you are favored of the Lord. Tag somebody. If you want favors, you need to make sure that you are creating an autograph of everything you do with excellence. Anything you touch from today shall be excellent. Anything you touch from today shall show off the excellence of God. Your life is not tasteless, altar pan. It can never be tasteless. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shala, your life can never be tasteless. Connie, your life can never be tasteless. Overcomer, your life can never be tasteless. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are going to touch anything you touch will be a touch of excellence. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to offer reverential treatment. Kaliaba soto kodiaba sata. Not only do you offer the reverential treatment to God, but you also reverential treatment to your boss. Oh, those of you who are in a workplace environment, you know that if you reverence your boss and you respect him, he does what he favors you. So anytime you show up for God and you sow seeds, you meditate on his word, you, 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 you pray and you, you romance him, you tell him how much you love him. What does he do? He begins to favor you more and more and more. Because why? You are pouring out seeds. You are planting seeds. You are planting seeds that God, I honor you. God, I exalt you. God, you are holy. God, you are amazing. God, you are, you, you are absolutely amazing. God, you are so merciful. God, you are just God. You don't go to God just complaining left, right, and center all the time. Hallelujah. You reverence God. You, you, give, you are serving in church. Touch of excellence. Anything you do, you are serving your customers. Touch of excellence. You are in a workplace environment. You are working. Touch of excellence. Make sure your boss knows that you are a respectful person. Don't be two different people. You are somebody else in the body of Christ, but you are somebody else in your workplace. Like they, they, they see you, they run away. They know that you've got a sharp tongue. Favor in your work will come in the name of Jesus Christ. He's a precious and he's a wonderful God. When you reverence him, he will pour out favor. What you don't have, you cannot get. What you don't give, you will not get. Hallelujah. Problems that you are having or problems that you have had are opportunities. The more problems you have or the more problems that you solve, the more favor you attract. Because God sees you and he says, this child of mine does not waste resources. This child of my, mine, Shala, thank you. God bless you. This child of mine uses the word that I've given them. Do you understand that God is excited when he sees us using his word? When he sees us activating his word and when he sees us activating what he has called us for. Covenant of favor. Everywhere you are going with it. You are sharp and fast. You will receive it in Jesus name. The Lord is going to accelerate that favor for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We need to understand as Christians that the authority that we do not respect cannot favor us. God is an authority. Your pastor is an authority. Your boss is an authority. Your parents are an authority. If you do not respect them, they cannot favor you. Even you yourself, you know that if your children are disrespectful, you do not want to show them favor. You actually want to punish them. Your last act of disobedience is the one that has disqualified you for the next level. So if you want to trace why were you stuck but the whole month of May, I know that we have become unstuck. Anytime you find yourself stuck, ask yourself, what was my last act of disobedience? The last act of disobedience is the one that disqualified you for your next level. It shall not be so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, Father, my Father, we receive divine favor of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's quickly run through what are those things that hinder us from receiving divine favor. Number one, ungratefulness. Preach with me. Hallelujah. Ungratefulness. Malachi 2 verse 1 to 2, it says, And now, O priest, this is the command is for you. If you will not listen, if you will not take it to heart to give honor to my name, says the Lord of hosts, then I will send the curse upon you and I will curse your blessings. Indeed, I have already cursed them because you, you do not lay it in your heart. Do you see how serious um, uh, this is? If you are ungrateful, the Lord told the priest in Malachi chapter 2 that he was going to send a curse because they were ungrateful. That shall not be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. So for as long as you live, you will open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Stop giving credit to people that don't deserve it. 
It is God that gave you that breath. It is God that has led you this far. It is God that has given you that house. It is God that has given that car. That car that is to come, it's not your job. He is the source of all. Munasha, it is God. It is God. The favor of God is definitely effective. So let's not be ungrateful. Number two, we must watch out for pride. Be careful of pride. Pride is a hindrance to the, the favor of God. James 4, 6 says, but he gives more grace. Therefore, it says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So humility will open doors for you. Humility will accelerate your divine favor. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I will not be proud. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to elders. Clothe yourself, all of you, with humility towards one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Again, he repeats it in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5. He says, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that the proper time he may exalt you. So he's saying that there is a proper time for exaltation, not the time when you exalt yourself, not the time when you promote yourself. But there's a time when he promotes you that nobody can dispute it. Nobody can contend with you. There is a time that he accelerates you. There is a time that he puts you in that marriage. You don't put yourself in that marriage. You don't take yourself there, but he takes you there. That's why you can see the peace of God in that marriage. That's why you can experience the peace of God in that marriage. When you know that God is the driving force. When you have made sure. Some people, they make God the driving force until they're in there. Then they forget God. The foundations that you put your spouse on. The foundation that you put your, your, your marriage on should be the foundation that will sustain. So the favor that was operating before you said I do is the favor that will operate that you know, beyond the I do. So God needs to be central in our lives and we need to be humble. We don't need to be proud. It's not about your beauty. It's not about your hair. It's not about your clothing. It's not about the way you walk. You are cute and you are beautiful, but it's not about all that. It's about God. Number three, what will hinder you? Deliberately ignoring divine instructions. When you are receiving divine instructions, there's one thing that Apostle said during the month, I think it was last week or weekend, over the weekend. He said, we, should, we are always eating. Sometimes our next level, our last act of disobedience, when we did refuse to fast, you thought it was cool not to go on that fasting. Why must you eat so much when you are looking at your life and things are not working? And you are still eating in excess. What is fasting? When you are fasting, you are basically saying, I'm replacing the food with the word of God. I'm going to spend more time with God. I'm not just going to give 10% of my time, of my 24 hours. I'm going to give more than that 24% or that 2.4% to 2.4 hours. I'm going to spend time and follow the divine instruction. Some of you, God talks to you. You are compelled to wake up at 3 a.m., but you refuse to wake up at 3 a.m. Why? Keep tapping on the screen, please. Hallelujah. Why do you refuse to follow divine instruction when your life is like that? You know that something is incorrect. You can see your children are suffering. You can see the missiles are being fired. Arrows are being left, right, and center fired. And you can see that witchcraft. This one is witchcraft. Things that your children are experiencing and you say, uh -uh. and you still go back to sleep. Why? What are you sleeping for? You want to sleep on your destiny. You can see that things are, are, are just off. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. We shall not ignore divine instructions in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone said, have the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. This is what Samuel says. To obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken the fat of rams. So to hear the word of God and do the word of God is what we are being released to do today in Jesus name. For rebellion is a sin as unto witchcraft. So he says when you rebel, when you don't follow my divine instructions, it's like the same as you have committed witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. He says stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Those are not things that we should be associated with in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the covenant of favor demands that we need to sustain our divine favor. Child of God, what you have done in the month of May, you are going to do it beyond to sustain. We are going to sustain this favor because we want to increase in dimensions. We want to go to the next level. We want to go in the month of June. We are entering our half year fasting and prayer. We are expect, we are expediting. We are increasing. We are increasing the fire. 
The fire must continue to increase. The devil must not caught you napping. The demons that we rebuked and came out in May must not come back and say, okay, we're going to come. We know we're going to catch them napping in June. No. Hallelujah, somebody. So to sustain the covenant of favor, you're going to have to be a person of wisdom, number one. You're going to have to make sure you exercise wisdom for who, whoever finds wisdom finds life and you obtain favor from God. That is what scripture says in Proverbs chapter 8 verse 35. He who finds favor, he who finds wisdom finds favor from the Lord. Whoever finds life, whoever finds God finds favor. You receive wisdom. If you receive wisdom, receive wisdom right now. Mukisa, thank you so much for following the host. Hallelujah. Number two, you're going to have to be diligent. To be consistent in the favor of God, you're going to have to be diligent. Hallelujah. Proverbs 22, 29 says, Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. So for those rooms that we have been declaring and decreeing that you will enter those rooms, you will dine with kings. You will obtain favor in those rooms with kings. Those things are unlocked by diligence. That means you're going to be consistent in what you are doing. Not only in the spiritual, but also in the physical. You are going to have to be consistent in the things that you are doing in your workplace, in your business. Be consistent in your studies. Hallelujah. I told you that it's time that we exhibit the, the, the life of excellence that God is expecting from all of us as children of God. Let us not be counted out when people are, 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 are awarding contracts and they think that the, all that we have to offer is just the spiritual. No. He makes us spiritually strong so that we can be physically functional. On this world, in the secular world, we can make waves. We can break through. We can be in media. We can be in technology. We can be in oil industries. We can be in manufacturing industries. Do you understand that we can be part of the industrial revolution? We can be part of the justice system. We can be part of the, of, of the legislature, people who are making laws in our different countries. We can be part of the politicians and not be tainted by corruption. We can be there to make a difference. Do you understand that he gave you that job so that you can go and make a difference? Be diligent in what you're doing so that the favor can operate for you and your family. Not only will it impact your family, but it will impact your church and it will impact us as a ministry as well because we are going to see the works of your hands flourishing in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are making that declaration. Declare, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Hallelujah. My spiritual mentor who has passed on since said, um, don't be so spiritual that you have no earthly use. That you need to know, you need to be wise as serpents, as the Bible says. You need to know when to switch and, and you are still applying the wisdom of God. And you are making things happen. Things are turning around. Am I communicating this morning? You need to know that when you speak with authority in, in, in your workplace, they don't just say, ah, this one is just going to tell us about the Bible. Know your story. You may have been qualified or unqualified to get that job, but now that you are in that job, show yourself to be, to be qualified. Study to show yourself approved. Make sure that you are showing yourself approved, that you are able to be the leader. Some of you got managerial positions, not because you studied management, but God favored you. Ah, Kalia Masoto Kodia. Let divine authority speak for you in Jesus' mighty name divine favor will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number three, you need good understanding. Are we tracking together? Good understanding. You need to have an understanding. Proverbs 13, 15 says, good sense wins favor, but the way of the treacherous is their ruin. You must have good sense. Common sense is not good sense, but you need good sense. Not only common sense, but you must have good sense. Hallelujah. Receive the grace for restoration. Hallelujah. I decree and I declare this morning as we are about to start closing. Hallelujah. Father, those who are listening to the sound of my voice this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this night, regardless of wherever they are tuning in from, Father, they are receiving a restored grace. Hallelujah. You are receiving restoration of grace. Hallelujah. Restoration of grace. Hallelujah. You are going to receive restoration of lost opportunities. Today is the day where we seal it off and we are just thanking God this morning. We are just saying thank you, God. We are thanking you, God, because of what we have seen during the month of May. We have testified and we are believing you that we will testify even further in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, reveal to us opportunities that we have missed in the month of January up until 30th May, 30 May 2023. What have we missed? What are the opportunities that we have missed in the previous years in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Oh, shakala bakasata. 
Hallelujah, somebody. Whatever opportunities, let's begin to pray together. Ma calibra soto kodiaba. Whatever opportunities, whatever blessings, whatever breakthroughs I have missed in the past few months, whatever blessings, whatever breakthroughs and opportunities I've missed, I've, I've missed in the past few years, Lord, reveal them, Lord. Give me a revelation. What have I missed in the past few months? I ask for a sevenfold restoration of God. Bring back those opportunities where they said they had closed the the. the, the the closing date has passed. Let them reopen for my application. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, bring new fresh opportunities for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak a sevenfold restoration for you, Ora. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak a sevenfold restoration for you, Anna and Buche. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you are typing it right there. Reveal those opportunities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give me more wisdom. Lord, give me understanding, more wisdom, more understanding to manifest your peace. Lord, give us more wisdom and understanding to manifest your joy. Lord, give us more understanding to manifest your blessings. Lord, give us more peace and wisdom, oh God, to manifest your prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this remaining part, as we step in into the month of June, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are following the leading of the the Holy Spirit all through the remainder part of this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we come humbling ourselves before you this morning to celebrate not only the testimonies that you have given us in the month of May. Lord, we come to ask you for clear, specific directions in our life. Lord, give us clear, specific directions in our family. Lord, give us clear, specific directions in our businesses. Lord, from our in our ministry, Lord, we ask for clear and specific direction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As this month of May is coming to an end, and please show us the areas that we need to invest our strength in in the mighty name of jesus christ make sure that we are sowing seeds of love oh god teach us to sow seeds of love teach us to become disciples that will be effective in the mighty name of jesus christ Te teach us to take steps of faith in the name of jesus christ to the glory of god let us spread the glory of god in the mighty name of jesus christ are we tapping on that screen are you making sure that you are tapping hallelujah Divine favor, locate me. Divine favor, make sure you are calling it. Divine favor, locate me. Wherever your angels of divine favor are, they must release it to you. This month end, this 31 May, this month end, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that your joy shall multiply. I declare and I decree that you will receive unlimited favor in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that nothing will be impossible for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is operating through you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God will direct your steps and order your steps in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the Lord will lead you into unlimited success in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will make sure that you have unlimited favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this month and, and into June in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will make sure that you are at the right place at the right time. You will not miss your opportunities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will be at the right place at the right pain. At, at the right time in Jesus' mighty name. Right place, right time. Right place, right time. All right, right place, right time. Jemki, right place, right time. Pindile, right place, right time. Megan, right place, right time. Those who are listening to the replay, right place, right time. Those of you who will be listening to the replay, right place, right time right place right time father in the mighty name of jesus christ i come with the authority that you have placed on this altar in this ministry of god in the mighty name of jesus christ father i thank you lord that you have positioned us to be at the right place and at the right time lord i dismantle every single opposition that has been fighting against us in the mighty name of jesus christ whatever has been fighting those who are under the sound of my voice lord i dismantle it in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare that those who have rejected us will open doors for us into the month of june and beyond in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and i declare that open doors are coming your way anna in the mighty name of jesus christ you will not miss it wherever you go blessings will follow in the mighty name name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit will direct your steps into wonderful things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says there's wonderful things that are in store for you. Your Holy Spirit, my Holy Spirit will direct you into those wonderful things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree 
and I declare that you will succeed and not fail as you type that amen louder, as you shout that amen louder, as you make sure that your amen is thundering in the comment section. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will succeed and you will not fail because Christ richly dwells in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, arise and bless the works of our hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arise and bless the works of our hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your name shall be glorified through the works of our hands as we close the month of May, as we step in into the month of June. Father, we step out with outstretched hands ready to receive the fresh blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ dwells in you, Petty, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and bless the works of my hands so that your name can be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are shouting it louder that God must arise and bless the, bless the works of your hands in your business, in your workplace, in your schoolwork, in Jesus' mighty name. The works of the hands of your children must be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God must be glorified in your story, in your journey, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, help us to meditate on your word daily, day and night, so that we can prosper in all things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I come against any distraction from us meditating. Lord, we remove any obstacle, any obstacle, whether it is television or whatever it is, Lord, we will have more time with you in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not be distracted in who is our God. We will not be offered new alternative gods. We will not stray to mediums in the name of Jesus Christ. We are soldiering forth. You will receive clarity in the name of Jesus. Right now, begin to receive the clarity that you need for the the wonderful opportunities that God is rolling out for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not sign the wrong contracts. You will not go into partnerships that will lead you astray. You will not enter debts that will lead you astray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give you clarity whether that opportunity is a wonderful opportunity, whether it is a trap. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, help us to, 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 to use the, at our disposal those opportunities that we have not been seeing. Lord, open our eyes so that we can see who is that destiny helper that we have been missing on in Jesus mighty name. Lord bless us oh God. Bless our environment in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will bless you so that you can bless the poor. Mm. I feel a financial anointing being released. The Lord says, those of you who have been crying with your finances, I am going to bless you so that you can bless the poor. I'm going to bless you so that you can bless the orphans. I'm going to bless you so that you can bless the widows in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, my father, open our eyes so that we can realize the untapped potential that is inside of us. Help us to recognize all untapped potentials around us that you have blessed us with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us not to take our blessings in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us not to take our favor in vain. Help us not to take our blessings in vain. We will not take them for granted in the mighty name. Today they will see it in you in Jesus mighty name. Those who have never established business it will be seen in you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, deliver us from the spirit of procrastination. Lord, I speak to that person that has been struggling with procrastination. You have been saying you will do this, you will do this, you will do this. Today, procrastination, loose yourself from us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose yourself. Procrastination, we speak to the spirit of procrastination. We speak to the spirit of laziness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we receive our garment of favor. We are expanding on all sides. We are expanding to the west, the east, the south, and the north. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I see the Lord empowering somebody on this broadcast this morning. Somebody who has been obedient to the word of God. He says, I am empowering you. You will obey my word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your life shall be prosperous because I came that you may have life and have it in abundance. That is what 316 is all about. Every doubt that has come into your life, because of strongholds that have been keeping you oppressed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command it to be broken down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every doubt, that every seed of doubt that the strongholds that have been holding you down have been uh, uh, injecting in your life right now. They break down in the name of Jesus. They are coming down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I banish anxiety. I banish anxiety from you, Fadzi, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jackie J, I banish anxiety. I banish depression, Jemki. Gundo, I banish a, a, a depression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I banish stress in your life. A stress shall no longer hold you back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. DK, you are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are favored in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I banish anxiety and stress from anybody who is at the sound of my voice. I reject every attitude of timidity. Lord, they will hate timidity the way you hate timidity. In the name of Jesus Christ, this morning we rise to claim our minds in boldness. Oh God, we decree and declare that our minds are bold. We decree and declare that our minds are on track in the name of Jesus Christ. Some lander, you will not be anxious. You will not be stressed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not be timid in the name of Jesus Christ. As I declare it from some lander, I hope you are tapping in in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are commenting, shout that amen louder. Restorational God, in the name of Jesus, that is true. Decree and declare it along with me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is giving you the spirit of excellence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny shall not be sabotaged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your relationships shall not be sabotaged. Only godly and goodly relationships shall not be sabotaged. Any other relationship that God has not ordained for you, may that relationship be sabotaged and expunged, expunged in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is giving you the spirit of excellence so that you can arise and fulfill your calling and glorify his name in the name of Jesus Christ. Nom Kosi, the Lord is arising and giving you that healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we thank you for answering our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. We will no longer be timid, but we move with boldness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 31 days of grace and favor. We have reached day 31. Mm, devil, you did not succeed. Strongholds have been broken. The captives have been set free. The jail doors have been opened. We will not be prisoners. We will not be oppressed in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we fully commit our plans into your hands as we step in into the month of June. Father, we commit all our plans into your hands. Whatever you need to tweak, my Jesus, you tweak at, at, at your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, we trust you, Lord, to help us to establish our plans in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding begin to saturate each one's mind who's at the sound of my voice. Anybody who's at the influence of my, of my voice right now begin to saturate uh, in the peace of god that surpasses all understanding that surpasses all understanding your mind is saturated in peace your soul is saturated in peace your body is saturated in peace in the name of jesus the lord god almighty is caused, causing success to manifest all around you in the mighty name of jesus christ in every area of your life i see success in the name of jesus call on that success to manifest in the mighty name of jesus christ lord we trust you that you will show us favor in the mighty name of jesus wherever we go wherever we turn to we shall see favor in the mighty name of jesus christ not all of the lord has given you the assurance and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut over therefore whatever you are expecting god to do in your life he is going to make surely that it comes to pass in the mighty name of jesus christ the expectation of the victorious end that you have jemki the expectation of victory that you have overcomer ov whatever you are expecting that is the victory that you're expecting that is the victory that you will achieve and receive in the name of jesus christ victory is the end game victory is the end result that you are receiving in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and i declare as i remind you that your god is able your disability is not a necessity in this matter your disability does not matter but you will be summoned those who do not want to favor you they will be summoned to call you to come into the king's palace you will eat at the king's table hallelujah the lord God Almighty, keep up with me. I see some of the networks are shaking, but the network will not shake. Hallelujah. We are charging forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your ability is in the ability of God. God says, even if you are disabled, that is not what I have asked them. I have sent out messenger and angels to come and bring you to the table of the throne of grace i have sent out ministering angels to come and bring you to a favor atmosphere and a favor environment you are now in the stadium of divine favor and divine favor is breaking all protocols for you in the mighty name of jesus christ am i communicating i wish you could shout that amen for well shout that amen louder shout that amen louder make your amen thunder let me hear you say amen and amen and amen if you shout shout, shout i hear i hear in the name of jesus my god is able to do exceedingly abundantly more above than you could ever ask or think in the mighty name of jesus christ is there a candidate of favor in this place somebody shout amen say my ability is in god's ability i will not be disabled grace and favor is operating for me i'm ordained to walk in the realms of favor in the mighty name of jesus christ favor speaks for me 
As you are typing divine favor, divine favor, divine favor, divine favor, grace and favor speaks for me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we receive the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We receive the goodness of the Lord. Nobody is checking out. Nobody is being raptured. Nobody is dying before their time. The goodness of the Lord will work for you in this season on this planet earth where we are. We are not going to any other planet. We will enjoy here. The favor of God is speaking to oh give me three more minutes i see i'm 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 over time in the mighty name of jesus christ anything that was sent to spoil your joy this year right now it is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ there is no option grace and favor operates Uh, divine favor speaks for you in the name of jesus christ oh lord as abraham received favor from you we are receiving favor from you in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree for them oh god as they type that amen in the mighty name of jesus christ the same favor you bequeath on abraham isaac hallelujah the same favor that you bequeath on our forefathers our spiritual fathers in the mighty name of jesus christ father let it be released to them in the name of jesus christ father deal bountifully with all of us in the name of jesus christ beyond today 31st and beyond of 31st of may into june and the rest of the year holy spirit we receive a bounty harvest in the mighty name of jesus christ it does not matter whether we deserve it or not it does not matter the opinion of satan and his cohorts and his agents but lord we receive unquantifiable we are receiving unquantifiable unquantifiable favor you cannot measure it what god is releasing right now if your spirit is open you will feel it something is going to kick in your belly in the name of jesus Every blessing that has been earmarked for you this year shall not pass you by. I decree and I declare it, Mam Jesa. Shala, I decree and I declare it. It shall be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will come and buy me cool drink at the end of the year if you like. If you don't like, it's okay. God would have bought it. But I'm telling you that the favor that has been apportioned to you for this year, it shall not pass you by, Shala. Your efforts are not in vain. He is coloring your efforts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could type that amen well on Marwa official. Lisa, Kalaba shoko dia masekeli amaha. Hmm. Pelsi, in the name of Jesus Christ, the blessings and the favor of God shall not pass you by. In the name of Jesus Christ, every blessing that was yours, that has been transferred to your neighbor by error, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it return to you now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, we call forth every single blessing, every single form of favor, every single form of opportunity that went to the wrong person that was meant for me. Father, restore Father is so, as I shout my amen well, in the name of Jesus Christ, every step that you will take this year, it will lead to outstanding success in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying every single one of your steps shall lead to outstanding Outstanding success, not just any form of success, but outstanding success in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord disgracing any power that has been assigned to steal your program, your virtue, your destiny, your star in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, disgrace them. Disgrace the works of the enemy. Disgrace their plans. Show their plans. Expose them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we declare and we decree that we will prevail. Our favor will make us to prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. We will prevail with men and we will prevail with God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are shouting in that comment section. I shall prevail. I shall prevail. You are not chickening out. You are not coming out. I don't care what the diagnosis is. I shall prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We fire back every error of poverty in every department of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Every error of poverty, go back to center in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every hidden and clever devourer in every department of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind every spirit of poverty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall prevail. Make sure you are, te- you are, you are telling me and you are telling the spirit world, you are telling the principality and powers, you will prevail. Shall I? You will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we uproot every seed of failure in our life. We shall prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, every seed of failure in our lives with the fire of God, we come against you. We are uprooted. We are uprooted with fire. We disconnect ourselves from every financial trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, I nullify every spirit of leaking pockets. Anybody who you don't know what your money is being used for, your money is leaking. You are working, but you don't know what you are doing with your money. I come against that spirit right now. I nullify that leaking pocket, that leaking bank account in the mighty name of Jesus 
curse against your finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are typing, I shall prevail. I nullify and destroy every activity of success polluters. Anybody who has been polluting your success, you are succeeding and you are doing well. You are diligent. But some people are talking about you. They are gossiping about you and talking lies about you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, my father, every form of financial embarrassment that has continued to be our Lord. Father, right now we dismantle it in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that as we are typing in the comment section, we shall prevail. Lord, we shall prevail against anybody who is trying to financially, financially embarrass us. No financial embarrassment. You have no room here. You are not welcome in our lives. You will not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let us receive the favor that you have allocated for us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, show yourself gracious to us, oh God. Let us receive total overflowing, overcoming grace unmerited like never before in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, any evil pattern that of that is of failure. God, we disassociate, we disconnect, we, di we annihilate it in the name of Jesus. We have nothing to do with poverty. We have nothing to do with financial embarrassment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as you type that shout that amen louder I shall prevail in the name of Jesus the God of favor will show you favor today and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let the Lord cut off any flattery lips that are around you that are joking and, and they make as if they are flattering you but they are actually enemies of uh, the agents uh, 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 of the devil in disguise in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever whosoever is trying to destroy our lives they shall not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father Father, use everything around us to our advantage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we seek your face this morning as a child seeks the face of their parents. Oh God, favor us, oh God, cause your favor and grace to shower us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We shall no longer be in distress in the name of Jesus Christ. Let joy follow our prayers and our decrees and declarations in Jesus' mighty name. We give you praise, honor, and adoration, O oh God. Glory belongs to you. Make sure you tag your neighbor and say, I shall prevail. I shall prevail. I have prevailed. Whatever tense you want to put it in, I have prevailed. I shall prevail. Divine favor is my portion. Declare it all round, all round. I shall prevail. I shall prevail. I shall. I have prevailed. I will prevail. I have prevailed in the mighty name of jesus christ holy spirit we thank you we give you praise honor and adoration daddy i thank you for these ones that have come through this morning i thank you lord that the riches of your grace have come to reside inside all of us i thank you for lisa patsy fancy laura govinda i speak to aura um ashley everybody who's on mara official who's on fortune online who's on facebook and youtube everybody who has been following this ministry diligently i speak to those that have been praying along with us oh god every 5 a.m every 10 p.m oh god that have chosen to set aside their lives oh god and said we will be dedicated and we want to do and follow the instructions of god that we will be in line with the divine will of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have caused them to come into their place of favor, their dimension of favor, the new next level of favor for their lives. Father, favor them. Let what eye has not seen and ear has not heard begin to manifest for them beyond the 31st of May and into the rest of 2023. Make them a wonder in the sight of everybody in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, is, is only you can do it. Father, show yourself to be Abba Father in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I speak to Shala, I speak to Petsy, I speak to every single person, even though that I don't see their names. As they come up, Fedzi, Megan, in Jesus' mighty name, I declare they are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. I declare that they are divinely favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace for ease has come upon them in Jesus' mighty name. The grace for ease, hallelujah. I pronounce that they are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break every chain that has hitherto tied every single person who's at the sound of my voice. Any chain that has bound you, right now it is broken. Any chain that has, has tied your career, any chain that has tied your business, your marriage, any chain that has tied any part of your relationships, it is broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will make visible your progress and your good success in Jesus' mighty name. This month and beyond is still the 31st. Your miracle is still in here unless you want to defer it to the 1st of June. 
it is your time to testify. Tell somebody it is your time to testify. Facebook and YouTube, thank you so much for having honored us as well to be part of this uh, engagement. Remember to watch the replay of the broadcast. You go to YouTube. If you are on the channel on YouTube and you, you can press, click subscribe and you turn on the notification bell, you do the same on TikTok as well. You do the same on Facebook. You just follow or you like the page that you are watching from. Amen. You make sure that you come through and go and rewatch on YouTube anytime. Go and rewatch and pray along. Hallelujah. Repetition is very good for success. If you are going to be successful, you hear the word again and again and again. Hallelujah. Some of you are still maybe lazy on reading the word, but you can also hear the word of God. And when you hear it, you do what you go and do. You follow divine instruction. Thank you so much. God bless you, YouTube and Facebook. You are amazing. Amen. Hello, my TikTok people. Somlanda, thank you so much. Um, wow. Wow. God is still God. Receive strength, Somlanda. Wow. That means she's in a safe place. She's in a safe place. Amen. She's in a safe place. Heaven is rejoicing over her. Shala, it's your time to testify. Let's make sure we are typing as we are signing out and saying goodbye. Take somebody and give them a blessing. Just speak words of blessing to somebody. Sure. Ooh. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you so much for those blessings. Thank you so much. I receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Who Who is having an ear problem on the left-hand side? Your, your ear is on... It's like... It's like the it's vacuum, it's wind, like um, a wind. If you're there, you can say quickly. I don't know what platform you're on, but there's somebody who's hearing. Um, it's like a coming into your ear. It's not pain. It's not painful. It's not painful. It's just a hint of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hey, Daniel, thank you so much. God bless you. Everybody who has gifted, thank you so much. Guys, make sure you are following the host account as soon as possible before we switch off. Somebody, you are hearing, um, this is my left ear, right? Yes, there is a wind that is blowing on your left ear. There is a wind that is blowing on your left ear. When we finish this broadcast, if you are not going to work or you're not going to school, I want you to just go and just be quiet.
right? Even if you spend 30 minutes, just be quiet and be meditating in your head. Don't say anything for 30 minutes. Just be quiet for 30 minutes. The Lord is going to speak to you. The Lord is going, you're going to hear the voice of God very loud and clear. You're going to receive answers. You're going to receive answers. You just be quiet. Even if you just need to close your eyes, I need you to go to your corner for 30 minutes. God bless you. It's God or nothing, Ruby. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Lebo. Lelo, Lelo, good to see you, my darling. Is it you? Oh, Lelo. <laughs> Is it you who's feeling that way? <laughs> Amen. Lelo, go in, in, into your 30 minutes corner. Amen. Go into your 30 minutes. If you can, if you want to stay longer, you can. But I, I wanted to tell you to listen to worship music, but just for 30 minutes. If you've not heard it, just stay there. Just stay there. Just be meditating on the word. If you want to read the Bible, you can read the Bible. But for 30 minutes, just have those moments where you're just completely silent. He's going to speak to you. It's God or nothing. You're off to work. <laughs> Okay, don't switch on the radio. Are you in a taxi or you're driving, Lelo? It's fine. You know what? If for any reason you cannot do it, when you come back from work, you just tell him, just, just go into your space. After you've done family, da, 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 you go into your corner and you just tell everybody, just give me an hour or so. If you have to start with worship or, or, or reading the Bible, and then, but I just need you to clock 30 minutes of silence. And you say, Lord, that divine visitation that you gave me this morning, let me, let me hear you. Even during the work day, be perceptive of what is happening around you. He's going to be giving you clues and answering you certain things. You'll come back and tell me. Guys, if you want to send me a message, you can send me a message on Instagram. I'll follow you back. I don't have limits there. As I said, you follow me. It's Fortune L Online. My handle is Fortune L Online. Okay. All, awesome, Lelo. Thank you so much, my sweetie. You must find that 30 minutes. There's something that God wants to tell you. So if you are busy now, you're going to work and you're going to be hectic, it's fine. When you come back at night, you, he wants to tell you something. <laughs> 